I have all kind of vegetables growing over here. later I'm out here checking out my garden so my dad bought me some pots I need to replant these because they're finally sprouting I still have not had luck with my rainbow looking peppers or whatever and this was strawberries they haven't sprouted yet and this is just one only one pink banana squash I just did horrible with this tree I the life of a beginner gardener I have no idea what I'm doing now what I did to move on to repotting was very simple. I just found some green tape in my house and used it to label with a permit marker. And I got these pots right here from the Dollar Tree. They were like, I think five in the pack. Don't let me lie to you. I don't know how many were in a pack, but there were a bunch in a pack for a dollar. And I paid like $10, so I got all of these. The soil that I bought from a friend from a hoop house that they already had and they weren't using the potting mix but I used that potting mix right there to put inside those pots and I used this potting mix or this seed starting mix to start the little pots. I am going to reuse that tray too. These are like pole variety type plants so they need something to climb on. This is what I'm most excited about seeing grow. I'm very 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 excited about the okra. Look it. And the crazy part about it is that the leaves are fuzzy like the actual okra. So we're starting new seeds today. All I'm doing is reusing the $5 Dollar General tray that I grew my first set of seedlings in, which turned into this. What I'm about to do now is plant some stuff that my sister brought over. When it comes to starting your garden, it's important to plant stuff that you know you're going to eat because otherwise you'll be doing it for nothing. I know for sure we'll eat the greens, carrots, and lettuce. I use onions a lot, cucumbers, broccoli, peppers, of course, the okra, corn, zucchini, squash, and tomatoes. So what my sister is doing for me is planting them right now, but she's also labeling them on the side so I can know what they are because we're doing them some by rows, like this thing of peppers, we're using the two rows and then like we're doing them by trays. So like this onion will be in this whole tray. We're gonna put the actual garden right here in this spot. So if you can imagine this, there's the pond, the shed, the pump house is right there. I don't know. Where are they going? They're just getting back from Lowe's. Oh my gosh, is that for me? No. <laughs> is this for me? You know yes, let it me, is. I love it. Let I'm so that happy. That's so exciting. Wow. Really, Ari? <laughs> Get on my nerves. <laughs> Serious? How old are you? 12? Get out! What I had lying around is a can of spray paint and a measuring tape. Day. 
my dad is cutting grass. If you hear that loud noise in the back, he's weird. right there. <laughs> um, he told me to go inside and get his skill saw, so I have it. We're gonna start cutting boards in a second. Early this morning and started walking off the garden, so we have the stakes laid out, and it's actually pretty huge. He wanted a 50 by 50, and that's a 50 by 50, guys. And I'm thinking on this end, over here since it's behind the shed that I want to do my composting bin I would probably want to do like a washing station because it's already next to the pump house so over here I'd probably put something so that after I harvest everything from the garden I can just do a quick rinse off over here I'm trying to figure out if I want the gate on this side or on that side but I had this wild idea that where this corner post is right here, I would make this the gate. So the gate would kind of go in a diagonal, if that makes sense. And so when you're walking in the garden, it's like you're walking in at an angle. Very important to have a plan in mind. So just gotta figure something out. And these are eight foot boards. We're gonna cut them in half into four foot boards so we can start building the boxes. So this is our first hole. We're digging holes that are two feet deep. We have to do five instead of four because I want a gate to go like in an angle or whatever. So we have to do two posts over here. And what we're gonna do is pour some cement down there. This is what I was talking about when I was saying that I needed the two posts here for my gate. We're gonna put a 10 foot gate here in this area. And this is the corner of the garden. So this would be the entrance into the garden. And then we have our other three corners in this side. Then our fence will wrap around these posts. Garden day number three. Sage is out here this time. Journey's coming. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, we're ready. Keep it up. some stuff so we can have enough to do the roofing and finish off some of the garden boxes today. 